Hello everyone, it's Rad from Radku Tarot and in this whole video you are going to hear the forecast for your star sign uh, for the week 21st to 27th of September 2020. So as always, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can go to my website which is listed down below in this video and uh, there at the very front page you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. And if you are into tarot and you want to learn tarot from we, uh, from me, I'm sorry, uh, you like the way I, uh, I read cards, there are eight tarot classes that I'm offering as well and you can find uh, all about them going under the tarot classes section at the website uh, as well. My recommendation is to take the major arcana first and when you become comfortable with it, then go for the minors. So that being said, laid back and uh, enjoy the show. Right, so this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and as well uh, rising weekly general tarot readings for the upcoming week in terms of love and career. And uh, before we go to the readings, guys, I just want to say that these are general readings, and uh, as such, they are going to show the potentials and as well the energies that Sagittarius can develop throughout the week but if you don't like what you hear uh, by all means do whatever suits you best so with that being said moving first thing that or first reading that we're going to have a look to is going to be your love reading and for it the first card that we do have for you Sagittarius that is going to be the six of eight cups Moving next, we do have the Four of Cups followed by the Nine of Swords. And the last one that we do have for you, this is going to be the Eight of a Wands. So it's actually very positive, or I would say quite positive. Uh, this is like a, a week of reassurance, especially for those that are already into a commitment that they have done the right thing okay, to commit with this guy or with this woman or with that person in, uh, in general. Uh, that is because we do have that um, alignment in between the Six of Cups and the Nine of uh, Swords into those positions. So bottom line is, it is that the week itself is not going to be that, I don't know the English word exactly, um, so I will use the word serious, but take it with a grain of salt. What I am trying to say is that the week is going to be more carefree than usual. There won't be any, you know, heavy matters that you and your person of interest or beloved one uh, will have to undertake or take care of or, you know, uh, are going to pretty much put strains and, and as well tension within the relationship. But I would safely can say here that if you do want to just have fun, okay, with your person of interest or with your beloved one, you definitely can. And in fact, you should. That encourages you with the reading, uh, with the reading itself. Now, there is an important message for those that are stuck in the past, those that are craving for some kind of a reconciliation and uh, those cards doesn't directly tell you that you should leave it be but they are telling you that there is if not equal if not better at least a equal uh, option available that it is around you and it's definitely worth exploring okay so that is like a uh, uh, that is like a, a plan B that uh, that you can develop throughout the week. Should your uh, reconciliation doesn't really work out for you as as best as you uh, as you wish, or um, straight away it's rather painful and uh, and poignant. Now that being said, uh, so what the week uh, bottoms to it is that there will be a emotional and as well physical attachment there, or kind of like attraction if uh, I may say it that way in between you and somebody now obviously that is very very good for those that are a single meaning that they will pretty much gonna develop start developing interest towards somebody and the thing with the six of uh, cups into this prime position of the reading it is that the interest is gonna be a rather mutual and uh, Depending on what situation you are in, Nine of Swords plays different roles or it manifests in different way, ways, so I'm going to try to count them down. Uh, one of the ways that is going to manifest Nine of Swords it is that your fears of being left alone 
are no longer be there for you know for example your beloved one or your person of interest is going to convince you in their interest another way that the nine of swords is going to develop is that the despondence uh, of that you may be um, single forever also is likely to go away seeing that you know somebody shows uh, interest in you and you also are developing interest for that person but the biggest thing that the nine of uh, swords stands for here into the third position is that you are not going to be afraid to speak anymore for certain stuff you know those kind of situations where people are afraid to say something uh, because they may think that that is the wrong thing to say and it's pretty much is going to to unlock uh, kind of like a, uh, a potential for them being um, pretty much laid off from a certain relationship. Uh, it doesn't look like that you are going to be afraid of, uh, afraid of speaking up for that attraction is going to pretty much overpower the, uh, the fear of being, uh, like I said, a laid off. And uh, literally the week ends... Uh, well, the message here is that the week ends you being in a position to do whatever you like, okay? Or whatever you have worked for yourself, that is what is going to be. With the Eight of Wands at the last position, pretty much um, you have numerous options available how your endeavor is to develop. Either that endeavor is to be interaction or a nurture or a committed relationship. You have many ways to develop it moving forward one better than the, than the others but nonetheless they are ways to develop now it's important here when you do stand at the end of the week with so many ways to move forward with your marriage with your relationship like said interaction etc etc to scale all of them with a clear-headed mind because for like i said there are one that are better than the others and there are those that are actually failure that is hiding behind so you don't want to pick the wrong one every one of you is going to have their chance to um like I said is going to have their chance to pick the right or the wrong one so the the outcome actually from the week is going to be different from every single one of you sagittarius but just so you know you will have your chance regardless of what situation you are finding yourself into you are going to have your chance to excel or to crumble. So, and the difference in between is going to be how clear your mind is when the time comes to make your choice how you should proceed with what you could develop throughout the week. So, uh, that was your um, relationship reading. Just give me a second here to gain control over my camera once again. Uh, all right. And uh, next thing that we're going to have a look at is going to be your career. So, uh, the first one for your career, Sagittarius, this is going to be the Knight of a Wands. Moving next, we do have the Queen of Cups, followed by uh, the Five of Swords, and after that, we do have the Queen of Swords. So, um, that is a, a week for you, Sagittarius, where you have to overcome the compelling um, push. I, I don't know how to say it in English, I'm sorry, guys. The compelling push of that it is okay. Okay, so what happens throughout the week it is that you alone are going to see some kind of a breakthrough that you can accomplish, right? That it's not actually manifested yet. Although you're going to see great potential for yourself that you can do it. Maybe you don't have right now the right circumstances. Maybe right now you don't know exactly how, but you know you can do it, right? And so throughout the week you are to seek a way or look for a way how you can make that breakthrough, get the sign to the project you want, get the promotion, etc., etc. whatever breakthrough you are aiming for. And the more you seek for a way, the more determined you are going to become to prevail here. So by the end of the day, you are going to find yourself to be uh, determined to do whatever it takes or whatever needs to be done. 
because these two things are different, okay? Uh, and uh, we're being determined to reach, to get that, to, to see it through, I would say it that way. Now, um, you may not see that, but from a side, you are going to look so enterprising and so energetic that you are to inspire a lot. Needless to say, how big impression that is going to make in your boss and how it's going to make, uh, how big impression you are going to make in your uh, supervisor. And then we do have that individual here, which is the Queen of Cups that stands as a faithful companion. And it's, it really wishes you the best. But sometimes those that are wishing us the best, they are not the best thing we can have around. What I mean here in your case is that this is going to be a, a person who will see how energetic you are, who will see how much you want that thing to happen. But they are to be afraid for you to fail or not to find a way. And they don't want to see you being disappointed, so they will try to talk you out of it. It's all that there is to it, okay? And uh, the the, uh, the thing is, is that uh, they will, uh, that person I mean, uh, is going to forget themselves into the emotions. Uh, and at some points, that person may bring unnecessary drama in your life about your job and about the things that you would like to achieve throughout the week itself. Alternatively, the Queen of Cups uh, can be interpreted in this position. It is that now is time for action, okay? And that is in a huge correlation with uh, the Knight of Wands as well. Now is time to act, now it's time to seek a breakthrough. Finding a job, going for more exciting and enterprising projects or activities as well to break the routine. That is what the week is uh, it's all about. And uh, it's uh, it, you have so much luck here, Sagittarius, to have the Five of Swords into the third position. Um, Knight of Wands is usually very unstable energy, okay? It gives you huge impulse to seek and conquer and to pretty much manifest things. But it's very unstable and you are risking a burnout unless you do have the Five of Swords into the third one. Because what the Five of Swords here makes for you, it is that you are going to be very well aware of how far your limitation stretches. And therefore, you are not going to exceed that limit. Therefore, you are not going to burn out. You are going to know very well what somebody wants to hear and how you are to present that thing. That being said, you will always going to speak with, uh, how can I say it? Uh, say you confront your boss about something, you will be able to convince them in your righteousness. Or uh, say you will be able to confront everybody, including clients within your work, and you are going to do it the right way. So your arguments are rather very compelling and they pretty much are more than compelling. They are just indomitable, okay? And they cannot be argued with. Um, and what happens out of it, it is that by the end of the week, um, you are to see yourself accounting for a many things, okay? Um, in the sense of that maybe you forget yourself into um, jumping from one activity to another, and by the end of the week, you are going to have way too many under your wing that you need to be accountable for. And at that point, you may question your, uh, your actions previously about, you know, how energetic and how impulsive you were to undertake that thing and this thing that may serve you as a breakthrough moving forward and etc, etc. And uh, you may find yourself a bit overwhelmed but not to fear for you do have the Queen of Swords as the ending of the week. And that point that at that, at that specific moment, instead of um, you losing your mind and uh, panicking about the so many work that you have to do, you are to adopt an um, emancipated state under which you are going to gather a lot of information and thus you are going to become a forewarned. So in other words, you are going to adopt the state of strategists 
rather than a activist. Okay, so you're going from activist at the start of the week to a strategist at the end of the week. And through being a strategist, you are to pretty much be able to um, push your things through all of them. Okay, that's the bottom line of the Queen of Swords. Uh, it's, it's going to involve a lot of performance, it's going to involve a lot of work, but ultimately at the, at the end of the day, there is nothing uh, throughout the week itself that you cannot, uh, it can like undertake. It is, uh, it is the word that I was uh, searching for. And uh, on top of it, uh, pretty much you are going to become a force to be reckoned with when it comes to competition in work and when it comes to um, complying with the demands of the job uh, of the job itself. Those that are a uh, looking for work, yeah, the, start, uh, the things with them stands like that. It is that they may find a job for themselves, but their faithful companion that they do have, it could be your mother, it could be friend, you know, etc., etc., may think that you uh, doesn't have what it takes for the job, and that uh, it's they cannot be further than the, uh, further from the truth than that. So, um, uh, what was the word here? I'm sorry, guys. Um, contrary to their statement, you have to get into the job and show what you are, uh, what you are made of. So that being said, Sagittarius, just uh, give me a second to uh, gain control over my camera. That being said, uh, it looks really, it's just, you gotta, you gotta do stuff around guys, okay? You, you have to be always active in terms of your career throughout this week and things are gonna be all right. And at the end of the day, you will be able to push your things through. So yeah, that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly general tarot readings, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy them and you do like them and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.